Happy Monday, you guys. Uh, Carla Airy Culinaires here from A Coffee with Carla. Um, I'm jumping on here because I want to talk a little bit about my post this morning. I posted on both Facebook and Instagram. I posted a second, actually three posts on Instagram. <laughs> um, talking about beauty and, you know, what I was thinking and what was on my mind this morning when I did that post. When I do my posts every day, I don't plan them out. They're legitimately, I sit down, I get my coffee, I sit down, and I scroll looking for some kind of a, a quote or something that strikes me, and then I write about it. And yesterday, um, it was interesting because I there was a post that went was on Facebook, and it was regarding, you know, uh, it was regarding how a young girl and her mom felt about themselves and and it was it was all revolved around like size and and insecurity and that type of thing and and what i appreciated the most about that post was first of all that they posted about it because it brings awareness secondly what i was happily and thoroughly thrilled with was the comments that came from the men in particular dads that posted about their thoughts on that and what they're doing with their daughters and I cannot say enough good about those men and there's a million of them out there there's tons of awesome dads out there I just the two that struck me the most, I did a post about them because it was just what they said was exactly what every girl, young girl needs to hear from her dad. She needs to hear it from her mom and more importantly, the actions of her mom are the most important actions because actions speak louder than words. If you aren't healing yourself from within, meaning old hurts, old beliefs, old scars, all, all that junk that you believed about yourself and what you think beautiful is, none of that crap is true. None of it. There isn't a perfect size. There isn't a perfect face. There isn't a perfect anything. And I'm, I'm meaning this, I am speaking about girls, but I am also speaking to guys. There is, the standard of beauty is not by what you're putting on the outside of your body. It's, it comes from the inside out. And believe me, it's taken me a long time to get that. And I'm by no means perfect about feeling good about myself all the time or thinking I'm, like I've been uh, recently known to say I look like a bag of garbage. So, you know, there's work to do. <laughs> but when you feel what is, what is beauty and what is health, is how you feel. All the stuff you put on your face, hair, clothes, accessories, all of that stuff is all just decoration. Everybody that becomes older tries to like chase youth. No more wrinkles, no more uh, bags, no more gray hair, uh, you know, like no more, I'm getting too fat, blah, 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 blah. If you feel good in your body, that's healthy. What is also healthy is healing the wounds inside yourself. Reverse engineering the damage that was done when you were young. We've all been picked on. We've all been bullied. We've all had comments made about our size, our lack of boobs, too much boobs, you're too skinny, you're too fat, you're this, you're that, blah, blah, blah. As it's pointed out to me quite frequently from a gentleman, like, what's wrong with me? I look like this. You know what, dude? That's none of your business. And you know what? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. I'm going to embrace this face that has the wrinkles, that, the, yeah, there's dark circles. It is what it is. I'm 51 years old. I don't, I'm not going to chase youth. I'm going to embrace as best I can the person that is me. 
That doesn't mean I'm going to compare myself to anybody else. And do you know how hard that is to get over? You see it, it's forced down our throats every day on social media about, you know, skinny and health and fitness and drink this shake and do all of these things, collagen, Botox, like if everybody realized for two seconds, the minute you inject anything into your body, it's not good for you. I don't care what anybody says. If there are health benefits to it because you're doing it for migraines or something else, like that's a whole different thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about outer beauty. Your beauty comes from within. It is healing the wounds that are inside of you. That is gross, hard, freaking terrifying work. When you fix that, not fix it, when you heal it, because we aren't broken. We just have some things we need to tweak and we need to work on. Do the hard work. Do the hard work. We are all beautiful in our own way. Man or woman, we've all had shit happen to us. Until you do the inner work, you're just putting a band-aid on it. And yeah, it might look pretty for the moment. But you know what? Heal yourself from within. Do the work. That's all. The rest will follow. People are dieting and doing fad diets because they think they're too fat. You know what? If you heal what's, what's wrong inside, you're not going to need a diet. None of them work anyways. Eating healthy works. Diets don't work. Do what works for you in a healthy way. Not just putting a band-aid on it. it. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel at peace. If you love all that other stuff, the makeup and the hair and all that stuff, awesome, go for it. Go for it as long as you're doing it for the right reasons. Don't cover up because you don't feel secure within yourself. Embrace the wrinkles, people, because they're happening and regardless of how much we wanna fight it, they're just gonna show up and we better embrace them and guess what I'm gonna embrace them for the fact that if I've got wrinkles on my face I'm gonna look at them as I got them from laughing too much I'm not gonna have them from stress I fucking refuse to have that happen anymore in my life it's taken me to 51 to get to this place and to understand it and very recently understand it I've questioned myself because I'm not driven by those things when it comes to like feminine things like uh, expensive clothes and makeup and hair and all of that stuff. Do I like some of that stuff? Absolutely because it makes you feel good like getting my hair done and having nails when I have them. I love it because it makes me it just makes me feel better. Am I doing it to cover up because I feel like like a bag of garbage? <laughs> No, I'm doing it because I just like it. I'm not buying, buying, buying and trying to cover up what I think is not right about my body. I have to embrace my body. It's the only one I've got. And you know what? Over 50, that body changes kind of dramatically. And you know what? It gets softer. It gets curvier. It is what it is. I feel good about myself from the inside out. That has taken a lot of hard fucking work. It has taken, it's, it's incredibly hard. It's incredibly hard to stand up and look at yourself and go and realize your role in everything that's happened to you. It's hard to admit those truths. They have to be admitted. That's where the healing begins. So I just want to encourage you to please do the work from inside, from the inside out. You are beautiful just the way you are. If you feel good, you are going to rock it. Just keep being you. Heal those wounds. Reverse engineer all that bullshit you were told that isn't true. 
and keep being your badass self. Man or woman, this goes for both, goes for all. Like, that stuff wasn't true. You are an awesome person. You matter. You're beautiful just the way you are. Remember that. Stand in the mirror, in front of the mirror, look at yourself dead in the eyes and say I love you every single morning even when you don't believe it. Because soon you will believe it and soon you won't be able to, you won't look away because you can look yourself in the eye. You are the most important and the number one person that you should love first. Because you can't fill, you can't fill anybody else's cup if you're as empty as that saying goes. It's true. Fill your cup. You matter and you're amazing. You do you heal from within. I love you and I believe in you. Have a great day and again, love you for yourself because you're awesome.